Hello guys, in this quick video I wanted to show you a quick trick about Laravel factories and how to see the data which are for the same table but with a little bit of different fields. So in this demo example I asked my colleague Nerius to create this demo and one part of the demo was to seed the doctors and the patients. So there is a user table but some of the fields are for just doctors and some of the fields are just for patients. And you don't need to modify the actual user factory for that, you can create factory states. So you can create user factory and then add doctor or patient and then create however many doctors or patients you want. So the actual user factory then looks like this. So this comes from default Laravel, the definition of default user factory, and then you can define states. This comes actually also from default Laravel, but this is our custom thing. So doctor method, you define this state function array attribute, so this is the default, and then you override whatever fields you want, returning the array of field value, field value. You may want or not use faker here or just hard code something, but this is the function specifically for doctors. And another one is for patients, same structure, different field names, different logic, something like that. So if you have some table that you want to seed with some data, and depending on some condition, you may want to fill in some fields versus other fields. Factory states is your helper. In the official documentation of Laravel, it's also mentioned factory states with an example of account status is suspended. And then you call that method suspended with your factory and it fills in the fields exactly as you want. So this is just a quick tip about factories and seeding. If you want more quick tips, subscribe to the channel. The channel is called Laravel Daily and I keep shooting daily videos about Laravel and related topics. So don't miss any of them. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.